10 minutes of initial relaxation is very important for the asana practice. Um, slowly bring the legs together, interlock the hands up, stretch the whole body, stretch, stretch, release your stretch, turn to one side and please sit up. We'll start the class with the prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Janam, Bhutakanadi Sevitam, Kapita Jambo, Palasari Bakshikam, Uma Sutam, Shokavinashikaranam, Namami Vigneshwarapa, the Pankajam, Shadananam, Kunkumarak the Varnam, Mahamadim, the Vimayura Vahanam, Rudrasi Sunam, Surasenyanatam, Guham Sadaham, Sharanam Prapate, Yakundain to Tushar Haritabula. Ya Shubra Vastra Vrita, Ya Veena Varadanda Manditikara, Ya Shweta Padmasana, Ya Brahma Chutta Shankara Prabriti Veer, Devai Sada Pujita, Samam Padu Saraswati Bhagwati, Nishesh Jadya Paha, Om Namashivaya Guruve, Satchitananda Murtae, Nishprapanchaya Shantaya, Shri Shivananda Ete Namaha, Shri Vishnu Devananda Ete Namaha, Om Sarva Mangala Mangale, Shive Sarvartha Sadike, Sharan Nitrembake Gauri, Narayani Namostute, Narayani Namostute, Om Shanti Shanti. Shanti. Om Namah Shivaya. Let's begin the practice with sun salutation. Please stand up on top of your mat. The first round of Surya Namaskar. Bring your feet together. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale. Stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back into the plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, left knee down, look up. Exhale, the other leg forward. Stretch your arms up, inhale, large back, exhale, inhale, and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back, exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, stretch the left leg back and look up, hold the breath, the leg back, exhale, knees, chest, and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right. Stretch your arms up. Inhale, large back. Exhale. Next round, inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back and look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Stretch your arms up, inhale, large back. Exhale, inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back and look up. Hold the breath right. 
Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, large back. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Right knee down, look up. Exhale, the other leg forward. Stretch your arms up, inhale, large back. Exhale, release. Third round, right side. Inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back and look up. Stay there. Push the right leg more back and align the left knee and the ankle. Chin is stretching up more. Your left ankle and knee are not in one line. So push the right leg a little more back. Right leg a little more back. Yeah, that's correct. Hold the breath. Tuck the right toes in. Take the left leg back into the plank pose. Breathe here. Tuck the belly in, shoulders right on top of the wrist. And on the exhalation, release the knees down, hips are up, chest between the hands, forehead down. Gracefully sliding forward, inhale, arch back into cobra, lower abdomen, rest down, elbows close to the chest. Tuck the toes in, exhale, lift the hips up, inverted V. Press the heels down without walking forward, press the hands down. Make a nice V-shape with your body. And the next inhalation, bring your right leg forward. Push the left leg more back. Align the right knee and the ankle. On the exhalation, bring the left leg forward and press the hands down, shift your body weight forward, forehead to the knees. Inhaling, stretch forward, stretch up, arms along the ears, and then push your hips forward, look up to the hands, that's very good. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale, and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the lift, leg back and look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, release. Fourth round, inhale and exhale, hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, forward and down. Align your toes and the fingers. Inhale, the right leg back and look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left. Stretch your arms up. Inhale, large back. Exhale, inhale and exhale prayer. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, the lift, leg back and look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the lift, leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right. Stretch your arms up. Inhale, large back. Exhale. Fifth round, inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back and look up. Hold the breath, lift. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left. Stretch your arms up. Inhale, arch back. Exhale. Inhale and exhale prayer. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, forward and down. Lift leg back. Inhale, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. 
Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right. Stretch your arms up. Inhale, arch back. Exhale. Last round, inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back and look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left. Stretch your arms up. Inhale, arch back. Exhale. Last time on the left, inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, left leg back and look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, the right. Stretch your arms up. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, relax. Separate your legs apart, arms hanging close. Take a couple of breaths here. Relax the breath. Relax the body. And slowly sit down, lie down on your back in Shavasan. Your arms apart and the legs apart. Arms are at 45 degrees to the body. Palms are turned upwards. Shoulders are relaxing away from the ears. Chin is softly tucking in towards the chest. And now work to slow the breath down by inhaling long and exhaling longer. Mentally scan each part of your body from toes to the head. Let go the tension. Breathe into the tightness, into the tightness. Taking a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock the hands up and give a long stretch to the body. Stretch, 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 push the heels out, press the back down and release the stretch. Preparing for the single leg raises, arms close to the body, feet together, toes pointing up, chin tucking in, inhale, raise the right leg straight up. Push the heel out, exhale, slowly release the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale, exhale down. Right leg up, inhale, both the knees are straight, toes tucking in. Exhale, release the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale, exhale down. Right leg up, inhale, catch hold behind the right leg. Pull the leg closer to the body and on the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, walk the hands more up, trying to reach up to the toes, relax your body, keep pushing the left thigh closer down to the mat. All 10 toes are tucked in towards the head and please gently stretch the chin up towards the right toes. Keep pulling the leg closer, work more with your abdomen and less with the neck. There is no roll of the neck and the shoulders to hold the posture. Take deep breaths into the abdomen. And now release the head down. On the exhalation, release the right leg to the right side of your body. You can catch hold of the right big toe. 
and release the leg down. If you are not able to reach the toe, hold the thigh or the calf. And now your job is to push the left hip down to the mat. It is nicely grounded. And feel the effect, feel the work on the hip joint when you push the left side down. Keep breathing. Inhale slowly, come up. Change the hands position. Relax the right arm in line with the shoulder. Left hand holding the right big toe. On the exhalation, release the right leg to the left side. Turn the head to the right. And this time, ground the right shoulder completely down on the mat. Keep the right knee straight. Breathe and relax. Relax and breathe. Wonderful work happening on the spine. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bend the knee, hug it tightly to the chest. Press it in, press it in. And now on the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, come up. If you have neck, neck pain, you can stretch the chin towards the knee or get the nose or the forehead to the knee. Center the body, shoulders are away from the ears. Slowly exhale, release the head down. Inhale, stretch the right leg up. Exhale, release the right leg down. Let's complete the cycle on the left side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Catch hold of the left thigh and pull the leg closer towards the head. On the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up. Walk the hands more up. You know what to do, how to adjust, just go ahead. Keep the toes pointing up, knees are nicely straight. And every exhalation, contract the abdomen to allow the leg to come more close to the head. Relax your neck muscles, relax your shoulders by bending the elbows and keep pushing the right thigh down to the mat. This is Supta Padang Gushtasana. Slowly release the head down, catch hold of the left big toe with your left hand, stretch your right arm out. On the exhalation, release the left leg to the left side. You can put the head to the center or turn the head to the right. And now push your right thigh, right hip down to work more on the hip joint. That's wonderful. Keep breathing. Inhale slowly, lift the left leg up, change the hand position, stretch your left arm in line with the shoulder and with your right hand, pull the left leg with control down to the right side. Turn the head to the left. This time, ground the left shoulder completely down and keep the left knee nicely straight. Keep breathing, keep pulling the leg closer up towards the shoulder, towards the head. Inhale slowly, come up with the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee to the chest. Hug it tightly, press the lower back. And the next exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, come up. Ardhipavan Muktasan, center your body. Remember to keep the shoulders in one line and away from the ears. Feel the pressure on the abdomen, relaxation to the back. And slowly exhale, release the head down. Inhale, stretch your leg up. Exhale with control, release the leg down. Now adjust your body for the double leg raises. If you have a weak lower back or painful back this morning, please slide the arms under the body. Keep the back supported with your hands. You can keep the arms close to the body. You can tuck the hands under the head. 
If you are more enthusiastic, stretch the arms over the head. Keep the legs together, toes pointing up, chin tucking in. Inhale, lift both your legs up and work with your abdomen. Push the heels out, exhale, slowly release the legs close to the mat. Come up, inhale. Exhale down. Third time up, inhale. Exhale, release. Fourth time up, inhale. With control, exhale, release down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more times. Up, inhale. Exhale. And last time, inhale. Exhale, release down. Now, bend the knees, hug the knees tightly to the chest. Press the lower back down. And once again, stretch the legs up. Open the legs wide apart. Hold the toes. Keep the knees straight. And if you cannot keep the knees straight, please hold the inner thighs. Hold it. Keep pressing the back down and keep opening the legs apart, moving the legs closer towards the floor. Chin is gently tucking in. Breathe. And now bend the knees for the happy baby pose. Hold the soles from inside. Keep pushing the knees closer down to the floor. Back is pressing down completely. Chin is tucking in, body is relaxed. Close your eyes and feel the benefits, feel the posture. Now join the soles together and from inside the legs, get catch hold of your feet. So your hands moving from inside the legs to hold the toes. Keep pulling the feet in and on the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, come up. Move your feet towards the head. Keep pressing the back to the floor, neck muscles are relaxing and you're breathing. And slowly release the head down, knees to the chest, hug the knees. Press the lower back. Stretch your legs up, inhale. With control, exhale, release the legs down. And now taking a deep breath, give a long stretch to the body, feet together, interlock the hands up, stretch, stretch. Releasing the stretch, gently turn over to one side. We sit up, relax into the child pose. Preparing for the headstand practice, the king of the asanas, Shishasan. First take a couple of breaths, in the child pose. If the child pose is not comfortable to you, you can fist your hands one on top of the other under the forehead. Your hips should be resting down completely on the heels. Allowing the blood to flow towards the head by relaxing your spine, your neck muscles. And now slowly sit up to start your practice of headstand. Please measure your elbows along the knees. Stretch your forearms forward. Interlock the hands loosely. Lift your hips up. Top of the head is on the mat. Back of the head is on the hands. Walk with your feet forward till the back is straight. Right knee to the chest, left knee to the chest. If you find your balance, take the knees up and the legs up. That's very good. If you cannot find your balance, just do the first few steps where the right knee can bend to the chest and you're balancing with your left leg down. Keep the legs relaxing, abdomen tucked in. 
taking deep breaths, slow breaths, and your body weight pushing on the tripod. Neck is not in pressure. Ideally, we hold it for three minutes to reverse the flow of the blood, but any discomfort anytime, you can follow the steps to come out of the posture. So to come out, bend the knees and get the legs one by one down, relax into the child pose. So that was one minute of holding here. And now please sit up, relax into the sh uh, Shavasana with your arms apart and the legs apart. Gently turn the head side to side and relax the body. Mm. Slowly bring the legs together. Take a deep breath. Interlock your fingers. Stretch your arms over the head. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And get ready for the shoulder stand cycle. You need to walk a little down towards the mat, uh, other end. Yeah. No, don't move the mat. Just walk down. Okay. Keep the hands close to the body, palms facing down, feet together, toes pointing up, chin tucking in for the shoulder stand. Prepare yourself, feet together. Inhale, lift both your legs up. Exhale, swing the trunk up and support your back. Shoulder stand we are doing now. To make any adjustment, you can bend the knees to the forehead. Bring the elbows closer. Please demonstrate the correction. Bend the knees to the forehead. Elbows closer. Hands more down towards the shoulder blades. And when you're ready, straighten the legs up again. Push your hips forward towards the face. Keep the calves relaxed, feet relaxed. If you're comfortable enough, close your eyes and let us chill the body for the next two minutes. Any discomfort, any time, you can bend the knees to the forehead and take rest or you can release the posture. Consciously relaxing the whole body. Feeling the pressure in the throat. Keep your awareness on the throat region. The chest nicely touching towards the chin to lock the plenty of blood in the throat, which stimulates the glands thyroid and the parathyroid. We are enhancing naturally the deep breathing when we hold this, as you may notice the abdomen actively moving out with the inhalation. Lengthening up a little higher with the inhalation. 
walking the hands a little more down towards the shoulders. Push the hips a little more forward towards the face. And on the exhalation with control, release the right leg over the head, Ardhalasana. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg down over the head with control. Inhale the left leg up. Once again, exhale the right leg down. Inhale up. Exhale down, left leg. Inhale the left leg up. Adjust for the halasan on the exhalation with control. Release both the legs over the head. The plow pose. You may keep supporting the back or you may interlock the hands away from the body. Stretch the arms away so that the shoulder blades can come closer. We hold here for 30 seconds. Keep walking towards the head. Push the knees away from the forehead. Tailbone is lifted up so that the lower back can release. Feel a stretch from the neck to the spine, spine to the neck. Wonderful work happening on the abdominal organs, on the spine, on the glands, thyroid and parathyroid. We're stretching the hamstring muscles. And now support your back. Inhale, lift yourself up into the shoulder stand. So from here, there are two options. You may come down into the Setu Bandhasan by bending one knee or both knees at the same time. If you are not that advanced in your practice, please keep your arms on the mat. Release the legs over the head 45 degrees. Using your arms as breaks, please come down. <coughs> so this is the Setu Bandhasan. Keep breathing. Keep pushing your hips up, squeezing your knees and thighs closer as though you are pressing a cushion between your knees. And now make a long bridge by walking your feet away from the body. Straighten the knees. Keep walking, walk, walk, that's awesome. Breathe. And now walk closer, hold your ankles. Keep the hips lifted up, thighs parallel to the floor. Once again, feel the chest tucking to the chin. Wonderful arch happening in the spine. When you release the posture, there is plenty of blood flow through to each vertebra in the spine. And slowly exhale, release the body down. Take a breath and relax yourself. Then get ready for chakrasan. Place your hands under the shoulders, fingers are turned inwards, heels are close to the hips, feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, lift your hips up, press the hands down and come up into Chukrasana, the wheel pose, straighten your arms, hold here and breathe. Keep breathing, keep pressing down, keep lifting up, straightening the elbows a little more. Now, if you like to go with the variations, lift your right leg up. And down. Left leg up. Okay, the right arm up. Down. Left arm up. Down. And slowly release the posture, come down. That's wonderful. Hug the knees tightly to the chest. Press the lower back down and on the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, Avan Muktasan come up. Let's relax the back completely here. Squeeze the abdomen. Feel the pressure on the abdomen, working on the abdominal organs and the spine. Slowly exhale, release the head down. Inhale, stretch the legs up. And exhale, release with control down. Prepare yourself for the counter stretch to the body in this series, Matsyasana, the fish pose. 
Slide the arms under the body. Tuck the elbows closely in, hands stretching down. Inhale, head up, chest up, come up on your elbows. Look to the toes, exhale, arch your back, release the top of the head very gently down. Now remember the chest is so much open in this asana. So take deep and long and slow breaths, every breath touching the abdominal organs and then returning back to the collarbones. The body weight is mostly on the elbows. So keep pressing the elbows down to reduce the pressure on the neck. Strengthening the cervical region by holding this posture. Just for a few more breaths, stay there. Ideally, we hold the Matsyasan for half the time the shoulder stand. Enhancing the lungs capacity works well to relieve asthma or any other respiratory problem. Inhale, head up, chest up, look to the toes. Exhale, release the body down. Release your arms, fist your hands and roll the wrist clockwise and anti-clockwise. Gently turn the head side to side. And let us today relax in Supta Badkonasan. Join the soles together. Allow the knees to fall apart. Arms are at 45 degrees in Shavasan. Chin is tucked in. Adjust your feet to a position where your body is comfortable, not putting too much pressure. Back is pressing down actively with each exhalation. Mm. Stretch your legs out. Give a long stretch to the body. Take a deep breath. Stretch your whole body. Stretch, stretch. And please sit up. Join the soles together for the butterfly. And flap your knees with your back straight, feet moving towards the body. Chin parallel to the floor, shoulders relaxing away from the ears. If you have back problems, this is the posture for you instead of the sitting forward bend. And now face towards the side, turn towards the camera. Use the length of your mat, separate your legs wide apart. As wide as is comfortable to you. Sit up straight, inhale, stretch your arms up. And exhale, stretch down on the right leg. Turn your body to the right and come down on the right leg. Hold wherever comfortable to you. Keep the toes pointing up, knees pushing down. And the left hip is grounded, watch it. And your chest is parallel to the mat. If the body is tight, if the back is rounded, remember to stretch the chin forward towards the toes. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, and exhale, turning to the left, Ex release down on the left leg. Right hip is grounded, shoulders are relaxing. Inhale, slowly stretch up again, and on the exhalation, stretch forward to come down into the Upavishth Konasana. Take your time, go slow. First place your hands down, forearms down, elbows down, chest down, chin down, whatever is possible, just go ahead this morning. You may hold the toes or stretch your arms forward. Please stretch your arms forward and see how comfortable you will feel here. Chin forward. Complete release of the ego, surrender of the mind. Wonderful stretch happening to the hips, thighs, spine, 
Inhale, slowly stretch up. And let's from here, place the hands behind to give a counter stretch to the body. Place the hands on the floor, just as we do after the Pashimottanasana. Inhale, lift your hips up and come up. Get the toes as much down as you can. And slowly release. Now join the legs together for Pashimottanasana. The classical forward bend. Feet together, toes pointing up. Inhale, stretch your arms up. And exhale from the base of the spine, stretch forward and come down. Hold the toes, hold your shins or wherever body is permitting. The edges, the outer edges of the feet and your feet are like two pages of an open book. So don't curl them in, open them out. Elbows and shoulders are relaxing completely. Back is stretching forward with the inhalation. Complete surrender of the mind, body, and the breath. Breath is very slow and deep into the abdomen. Every exhalation, squeezing the abdomen to work on the abdominal organs. Relieving constipation. Regular practice. Helps cure diabetes. And all other Abdominal disorders, feel the stretch from the base of the spine to the neck, working on each vertebra in the spinal column. Now as you inhale, stretch forward and stretch up. Exhale, release the hands behind for the counter stretch inclined plane Purvottanasana. Lift your hips up, inhale, come up, get the head back, feet falling flat down, hold it here. Let's count till 10, one, two, strong arms and strong shoulders, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and come down. Roll over onto your abdomen, relax in Makarasana. Make a pillow with your hands, turn the head to the right. Your big toes touching, heels fall apart. Relaxing and recharging the body for the backward bends. And get ready for the first back bend, Bhujangasana, the Cobra. Feet together, elbows tucked into the chest, fingertips in line with the shoulders, forehead down. Inhale, lift your head up, chest up and come up. Get the elbows bent, lower abdomen is resting down. So that's how you feel that pressure on the lower abdomen to work on the abdominal organs. Feel a wonderful arch in the spine, chest is open. So once again, we are working on the breathing. It relieves asthma, respiratory troubles. Slowly exhale, release down. Turn the head to the left and relax yourself. Get ready for Shalabhasana, the next backward bend, the locust. Slide the arms under the body. You can place the hands down. You may interlock the fingers or fist your hands. Stretch your chin forward, toes pointing away. Inhale, stretch your right leg up. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Support the right thigh with your left foot and breathe. Try to walk the left foot more up towards the right thigh so that you can shift the body weight entirely to your chin. Release the posture and now let's do it for the left side. Lift your left leg up, inhale. 
Support the left thigh with your right foot. Keep breathing. And slowly release the support, release the leg. Take rest, relax your body, gather all your energy in your arms before we come up into the full posture. Now preparing for the full locust. Arms more closed, chin more forward. Inhale, lift both your legs up and come up. Lift up as high as possible. Keep breathing. Let's hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and let go. Release your arms. Make a pillow, turn the head one side and relax. Big toes touching, heels falling apart. And now Dhanur Asan, the bow pose. Forehead down, bend the knees, hold your ankles. Knees are comfortably apart. Inhale, lift your knees up, thighs up. And let the head and chest pull up, come up into the bow, the Dhanurasana. Working on the entire spine by holding this posture. Keep lifting your knees and thighs more up. Toes reaching up to the ceiling, chest more up. Feel immense pressure on the abdomen, working on the abdominal organs along with the spine, strengthening the hips and the thighs, chin more up, relax your face, hold and breathe. Gently rock forward and backward on the abdomen. Rock the body side to side. Come back to the center and release the posture. Place your hands under the shoulders, giving a nice cat stretch to the body. Come up on the knees and the hands. Knees directly under the hips, hands under the shoulders. Inhale, stretch your chin up, push your hip back. Exhale, round your back, tuck the chin in. A wonderful way to relax your back after the back bends or otherwise. Inhale, stretch, chin up, hip back, spine arching. Exhale, round your back, tuck the chin in. Come back to the neutral position. Let's relax into the wide angled extended child pose here. Knees wide apart, arms extending forward. Big toes touching, you're sitting between the heels. Try to get the hips down to the heels. Keep breathing, relaxing the spine completely here. Now slowly, gently draw yourself back up. And get ready for the half spinal twist. Please sit down. Okay, let's do the uh, basic spinal twist today as we see in the picture. Stretch your right leg out, bend the left knee and place the left hand behind near the tailbone. Stretch your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist your body to the left and hold the left ankle by pushing the left knee with your upper right arm. Turn the head to the left shoulder and be out. Feel the pressure on the abdomen. Spine is straight, giving a lateral stretch to the spine, working on each vertebra in the spinal column and working on the abdominal organs. So continue feeling that pressure in the abdomen. Chest is open parallel to the wall that you're facing now. And the twist is from the base to the neck.
Inhale, stretch your right arm up. Exhale, release the posture. Let's do it for the other side. Stretching the left leg out, bend the right knee, right foot close to the left foot, left leg. Right hand behind, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist right, lean forward, catch hold of the left ankle. Sorry, the right ankle and look beyond the right shoulder. Twist and breathe, breathe and twist. Keep the spine lengthened. Feel the pressure on the abdomen. Remember, you are sitting equally on both the sitting bones and your shoulders are in one line. So make adjustments. If the shoulders are tense, you've got to move the right foot a little more forward. Yours is fine. Inhale, stretch your left arm up. Exhale, release, hug both the knees tightly to the chest. Sitting up straight from the lower back, look to the right shoulder and look to the left shoulder. Come back to the center. Let's do the Crow Kakasan. Make a rough square with your hands and feet. Feet are hip distance apart. Upper arms and knees are in contact. Fingers are turned inwards. Look at a point in front and keep looking at that point. Shift the body weight from toes to the hands. Lift one foot up, lift the other foot up and hold your comfortable. That's very good. Release the posture and now come into the uh, right leg forward, that is the right lunge, the high lunge. As we do the sun salutation, we are preparing for the Anjani Asan. Place the left foot down, left knee down. Right hand is in between the hands and push the left leg first more back as though the pelvis is trying to touch down. So the right, left leg is that back. Place your hands loosely on the right thigh and let the pelvis sink down, preparing ourselves for Anjani Asan. Now stretch your arms up, inhale along the ears. And now arch back as much as possible. Keep moving your body backwards. That's very good, making a nice U shape with your body. Keep breathing. and slowly come out, hands beside the foot. And now stretch your right heel forward. Let's do the Hanumanasan, the 180 degree split. Right heel is stretching forward as much as possible. Just get the right heel down. That's awesome, simply awesome, very good. Keep pushing the pelvis down, center your body. Don't let your body weight fall on the right side. Stay and breathe. That's very good. And slowly come out of the posture. Very slowly, gently draw yourself back up and change your legs position. Left leg coming forward, right leg moving back. For the Anjani Asana first, place your hands loosely on the left thigh. Let's prepare ourselves for the Anjani Asana. Keep pushing the pelvis down. Now stretch your arms up, inhale. And arch back. Keep going back. Very good. Breathe. Hold. And slowly come out, place the hands down. And very gently slide your left leg forward for the Hanumanasan, the 180 degree split. You may keep the arms, hands here. If you are comfortable, lift your arms up. Keep holding. And slowly release the posture. Draw yourself back up and take rest into the child pose, Shishankasan.
slowly stand up. Let's get ready for the standing forward bend. Come to the top of your mat, bring your feet together. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale from the base of the spine. First stretch to the wall in front and then come down fully. Hold the ankles or if you're less flexible, you can hold anywhere behind the legs. Get the forehead to the knees or let the head reach down to the feet as you see in the picture. Completely relax your back, neck and the shoulders, allowing the blood to rush to the head, which helps enhance the memory and invigorates the entire nervous system. So no tension, keep pressing down with your feet, lift that energy through the mother earth, squeeze the abdomen as you exhale. And now to release, soften the knees, dangle your arms loose like trunk of an elephant, chin tucking in, very slowly, gently come up, one vertebra at a time. Feet apart, a gentle counter stretch, support your back, drop the head back, push your hips forward, and breathe. Slowly come out of the posture and turn towards the camera to do the last asana trikon asan. Feet apart, three to four feet, turn the right foot to the right side. Left foot is turned slightly inwards. Inhale, stretch your left arm up. Lengthen up the entire left side, drop the right shoulder down and on the exhalation, release down to the right. Look in front. Upper arm is in line with the ear, right elbow is nicely, left elbow is straight and right arm is free to move down. The hip is facing forward. Breathe. This posture strengthens the legs, promotes the flexibility in the hip. And of course, it is strengthening the lungs as one lung is more active than the other when you do one side. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release. Change the side. Get the right arm up, inhale. And exhale from the waist, stretch across to the left. Hold and breathe. Breathe and relax. And to align the hips, push your left hip a little, uh, right hip a little forward this time. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release the arm, join the legs together. Come to the top of your mat, time for final relaxation. Please sit down and lie down on your back in Shavasana. Take a while, calm down your body, calm down your breath. Now let's do the tensing and relaxing of the body parts. Inhale, lift your legs up, 10 inches up, tense both the legs, tense the legs, exhale, drop down. Inhale, squeeze the hips tight up, tight, 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 exhale, release down. Inhale, lift your chest up, high, chest up, chest up, exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders to the ears, Exhale, push the shoulders down, release. Inhale, lift your arms up, make tight fist around the thumbs, tight, tight, open your fingers from shoulders to the fingertips, tense your arms, tense your arms, exhale, release. Now, make a tight, ugly face, inhale, tense your facial muscles, tense, tense, exhale, release. Inhale, open your mouth, pull your tongue out, look to the forehead, stretch your face, stretch, exhale, release. Move the shoulders more down. Gently turn the head to the right. Get the right cheek down. And to the left. Left cheek down. Come back to the center. 
Make the final adjustment. Your arms are at 45 degrees to the body, palms turned upwards, toes falling sideways, feet are comfortably apart. Watch your back. Let, let us once press the back down and release the back. Then just adjust the back with the normal curvature and it is relaxing completely on the mat. Push the hips more down. Shoulders are away from the ears. Shoulder blades are open. Chin is softly tucked in. Slow down the breath more. Let go in the mind. Calm down your feelings. Calm down your emotions. Mentally relaxing the toes. Relax the soles. Relax the heels and the ankles. Relax. Relaxing the shins, the calves. Relax the knees. Relax the thighs. Relax the inner thighs, the pelvis. Relaxing the hip, the hip joint. Relax. Relax the lower back. Relax the middle back. Relaxing the upper back. Relax each vertebra in the spine. Relax the shoulder blades. Completely relax the back. Relax. Relaxing the fingers, the palms. Relax the wrists, forearms. Relax the elbows and the upper arms. Relax. Relaxing the armpits. Relax the shoulders. Relax the neck muscles. Relax the back of the head. The top of the head. Relaxing the forehead. Relax the eyes. Relax the nostrils. The cheekbones. Relax the jaw. Relax the tongue and the throat. Relax. Move the awareness deeper to the abdomen. Relaxing the abdominal muscles. Sending awareness to each organ in the abdomen to relax. Relax the stomach. Relax the spleen. Relax the pancreas. Relax the kidneys. Relax the liver. Relax the small intestine and the large intestine. Relax the cold bladder. Relax all of the abdominal organs. Relax. Relaxing the lungs. Relax the heart and the chest. Relax. Finally, relax the brain. Relax the brain. 
Relax the brain. Let go the thoughts. Calm down your mind. Relax the mind. Relax the mind. Relax. Whole body from toes to the head is relaxed. The mind is relaxed. There are no thoughts in the mind. The breath is slow, breath is calm, breath is peaceful. The mind, body and the breath are in complete harmony. You're completely relaxed. Relax. Relax.
Gently awaken the body. Bring awareness to your toes, to your feet. Move your fingers, move your hands. Very gently turn the head to side to side. Taking a deep breath, slide your legs together. Interlock the hands up. A gentle final stretch to the body. Bending the knees, turn over to one side. And please sit up. Let's prepare ourselves for the breathing practices. Sitting in a comfortable cross-legged position, either Sukhasan or Ardh Padmasan or Padmasan. Both the hands on your knees in chain mudra. It's better you face the camera so that everybody can see you. Through both the nostrils, take a deep breath in here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We start with Kapalabhati, the first round. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, one, two. One two, 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 one one, 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 from the waist, open your chest and exhale. Maintain the length in the spine. Relax your neck, shoulders, relax your facial muscles and bring the awareness at the third eye center between the eyebrows. Get ready to hold the breath, inhaling three fourth of your lungs. Gently hold the breath. And slowly with control, exhale, inhale, exhale. The next round of Kapalabhati, inhale deeply and begin. 
wandi 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 Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now to hold the breath, inhaling, three fourth of your lungs, hold the breath very gently, focus between the eyebrows and mentally repeat your personal mantra or the universal mantra Aum. Keep the spine lifted up, chest open, shoulders roll back. Relax your abdomen, relax your lungs. Any discomfort, any time, please feel free to release the breath and take normal breaths. Slowly, with control, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we prepare for the alternate nostril breathing, the pranam practice. Only if your legs are tired, you can stretch the legs out and shake the legs out. Else keep sitting in your comfortable cross-legged position. Place your right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra, chest open, shoulders roll back, spine straight. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Lock the right nostril with your right thumb. Through the left inhale, um one, um two, um three, um four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils gently. Through the right exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, right, um one, um two, um three, um four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Keep the mind focused between the eyebrows at the third eye center and mentally repeat your mantra. Through the left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, left um one, um two, um three, um four. Gently hold, close the nostrils.
right exhale on one on two on three on four on five on six on seven on eight inhale right on one on two on three on four retain the breath close the nostrils relax the body relax the mind Through the left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Relax your eyeballs, relax your forehead, relax your jaw. Through the right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right, on one, on two, on three, on four. Breathing gently, close the nostrils. Lift your spine gently up from the base. Lift your middle back, upper back. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Redeem the breath, close the nostrils. Right, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Gently hold, close the nostrils. Keep the body relaxed and mind focused. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Through the right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold. Right shoulder is relaxing away from the ears. Shoulder are in one line. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Through the right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold gently, close the nostrils. Body relaxed, mind relaxed. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Repeat gently close the nostrils. Keep the chin parallel to the floor. Relax the top of the head. Relax the back of the head. Relax the lower body. Through the right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right, on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold gently, close the nostrils. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on um, two, on um, three, on um, four, retain. This is the last and the final round. 
Through the right, exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, right, um one, um two, um three, um four. Hold the breath gently, close the nostrils, last retention. To the left, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Release the hand down. Both the hands on your knees in Chen Mutra. Relax the body. Normal breathing. Watch your mind. Mind is with lesser thoughts. Breath is more calm, more relaxed, more peaceful. With the Kapalabhati, we are cleansing the lungs, strengthening the lungs and the abdominal organs. And with the Anulom Vilom practice, we are balancing the breath in the right and the left nostrils, balancing both the hemispheres of the brain. At times you feel your right nostril is active and at other times your left nostril is active. So one, the breath in one nostril should not overpower. That's why we need balance and with this practice of pranayama, we are balancing the breath in both the nostrils. Now let's wind up the class with the final prayer. Mm -hmm. Trayambakam Yajamahe Sukandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhanan Mrityor Mukshayama Mritat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sukandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhanan Mrityor Mukshayama Mritat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sukandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukumeva Bandhanan, Rityor Mokshiyama Mritat Om Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashit Tukhubhagave Asitoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityor Mamritangamaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudashate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Thanks to our Master Swami Shivananda Maharaj Ki Jai Swami Vishnu Devananda Maharaj Ki Jai Hari Om Thank you very much for your presence this morning.